Today we're going to show you how to easily add 25 rear wheel horsepower and 30 rear wheel pound feet of torque to your stock 2015 through 27 GT with help from Roush Performance. This is the Roush Performance Level 1 Power Pack fitting your 2015 through 2017 Mustang GT. Now Roush took all the guesswork out of adding horsepower and torque to your car by including a cold air kit and a custom tune. This cold air kit is designed to outflow the factory kit and includes a high flow reusable air filter. This device here will allow you to flash the car using your laptop computer with no special tuners required. For this installation, they did a quarter inch ratchet, 7 mm socket, 8 mm socket, 10 mm socket, T20 Torx bit, and a PC-based laptop computer. So to begin the installation, the first thing we're gonna do obviously is remove our factory cold air intake kit. We'll start by removing the intake cover, just give us a little more room. And here to simply pull up. The factory air intake can actually come out in one piece. First thing we're gonna do though is disconnect everything from it, the mass air sensor, and all of our air lines. So just push in, the gray tab, push the tab to the side. And here there's a little red tab underneath. Pull that out and squeeze. And don't forget to remove the clip from the air box. Okay, then we disconnect the hose clamp at the throttle body. Remove that. Then the last step, remove his bolts over on the fender. All right, now you can remove the whole thing as one piece. I should mention our sound tube was already deleted. You remove that with a hose clamp and our inlet's also been removed. We need a few stock pieces from the intake. This is the easiest one to lose. Though. A lot of times this will fall off. You want to just pop this off, put it back in the fender where it came out. Another piece from the airbox we're gonna need is going to be this rubber grom. Now typically there's actually gonna be a metal insert. You push the metal insert out first and then you can remove the grom. And then the last part we need from the factory airbox is the mass air sensor. You begin the rouse installation now with the cold air kit. And we'll start by taking this grommet, put in the opening right here. And like I said, the metal insert would go in from the top. You connect the air inlet to the Roush box. Just line it up, it'll pop into place. And the assembly can go into the car. You can reinstall this screw in the fender area. Okay, now grab the mass air meter along with our filter. Filter on with the metal downward and tighten it down. Now put the whole assembly into the air box. Then install the provided screws. The housing installed, we can install the mass air sensor next. And it'll only fit one way, but as a trick, you want the black side facing up, chrome side here facing down. Then reinstall with the original screws. All right, and the last step here is to install the intake tube. And once they're in place, tighten them down. reconnect all the fittings. Now, if you have a 2017 Mustang or some of even the late 2016s, you will not have a hose to go here, in which case take the supplied plug just put it over the top. On the 15 and most 16s, that small one will connect there and the large one goes underneath. The last step is to plug in the mass air sensor. What we got to do so remove this little white tab right here. And there's another one right down here. 
kind of behind the air box. Pull that off. I'm gonna give you some slack in the wiring. I think I'm gonna behind the air box over here. Fish it over and then plug it in. And the installation of our cold air kit is finished. Now we can move on to the flash tuner. While we're under the hood, the first step in the process of actually tuning the car, you'll need the computer code. You can see it located right here on the computer. That four digit code, in our case, RMJ3. You wanna write that down? You will need it later. With our Roush Performance parts installed, now the next step is going to be the tuning process using the supplied cable along with your laptop computer. Now the Roush Performance power packs can provide excellent horsepower and torque gains along with gains across the board. If you want to make sure to get optimum performance out of it, you have to run at least 91 octane fuel and make sure the car is in sport mode. Okay, so now to flash the vehicle, the first thing you're going to do is go to a website and download some software. It's rdt.roush.com. Hmm, fill out the information, and on the bottom, click Submit. Maybe a user agreement's gonna pop up next. And on the bottom, click Accept, and Submit. Okay, you're gonna get, this is very important, you're gonna get an activation code. You wanna make sure you write that down and save it, because you will need it. Now this should be at the bottom of your screen, but if not, just go into your Downloads folder, you're gonna double click, and walk through the installation. It's complete, you're gonna finish. Close that, then you wanna grab the supply disc, put that in your disc drive, we're gonna load that next. Again, that should load automatically. Then install the software on the disc and close out of this, and right on your home page here, your desktop, the Roush Diagnostic Tool, click on that. All right, so this page here, you're now you're gonna type in your email address, then that activation code we wrote down earlier. All right, now once you put the name and password in, this screen should come up. If you get a screen that says error or not connected, I should have mentioned earlier, the, first, the original website we went to, that uh, it was the rdt.roush.com. You need to leave that up in the background because this program will be drawing information from that website. Okay, now at this point, you're gonna take your laptop and you connect it to the vehicle using the supplied cable. Plug this cable in the OBD2 port. What you're gonna do is just basically follow the headlight switch down. It's right here under the dash, kind of where your hood release is. Plug that in, connect the other end to your computer. Okay, once you get the devices ready, you're gonna hit the ignition button on the car. The key on, you're gonna select device, which is the dash bridge cable we just connected. And then click vehicle ID. All right, so once you click on vehicle ID, this should come up. Make sure it is the correct year of your car and make sure the VIN number is correct. If you're not sure about the VIN, it's right inside the windshield on the driver's side in the front. What you'll do next is go down here to module programming. Now this voucher will be included with your power pack. What you're gonna do now is go on the back and enter this code. You start with the code. Then the voucher family is on the front and click redeem. Once you have the voucher family, the last step is the tear tag. Now what that is, that's the four digit computer code from under the hood that we wrote down earlier. Let's get everything, click redeem now. Now if you do everything right, it's gonna redeem the code and say redemption successful and flash is enabled. So hit okay, and then you go right down here to flash the car. Now basically what you're getting is you're basically getting a warning here you're saying make sure that everything's plugged in like it's supposed to, make sure there's no accessories running, make sure everything's good to go, your battery's good. We're gonna hit okay. Turn the key on, hit okay, and it's gonna begin programming. Now this process here, your lights are gonna flash, beeper's gonna go off, you're gonna see all kinds of things happening with the car, all perfectly normal.
Now here it is actually programming. You're gonna see the green bar is gonna move across. And the first time you do this, it will take some time. I've seen it take five, even 10 minutes on the first tune, but as long as you're getting progress, you're good. Now here you can see you're getting a cycle of the ignition code. So you're gonna turn the ignition off and then back on. And when you're done, you'll get a flash complete. And click OK. And you can disconnect the module. All right, so once you're done flashing the car, now the last step of the installation, start it up, make sure everything works like it should. And your installation is finished. If you're looking to get a colder kit and a tune, you're wondering which two pieces go together, Roush makes that decision easily. They give you this custom quarter intake and the tune is perfectly designed to work with it, give you nice gains. Like I said, 25 rear wheel horsepower and 30 rear wheel torque. The installation is pretty straightforward. Figure about an hour to an hour and a half total, including the flashing. You'll be back on the road in no time.